Hey everyone, I'm Lauren. Welcome to Furniture Flipping Teacher. In this video, I am going to be making over this mismatched furniture set, but this time it's mid-century modern. These two nightstands for just $7 a piece at Goodwill several months back and then I thought that they would pair perfectly with these two dressers that Neiman and I found at an estate sale for $120 on half off day. I love doing mismatched furniture sets but using paint to encompass them and really make them all a cohesive look in the end. So let's go ahead and get started and remove the hardware. I think I'm just gonna be reusing the same hardware. It's very petite and it looks great with the pieces. And I really try to keep the same hardware because it really goes with the time that these pieces of furniture came from. hardware off so we'll set that aside for cleaning later and then I am going to use simple green to clean all of these pieces done these were kind of dirty for all four pieces that's the dirty water shot for you now that cleaning is all done though i am gonna go ahead and make some repairs i really like to assess the pieces as i'm cleaning and i just found a couple of spots that we need to repair with some bondo so lately i've been really liking this bondo wood filler so all it is is a two-part hardening cream basically and so has this inside of the can and then it's got a cream hardener so you want to work with it very in very small batches so I just start with a little bit there and then add in the cream hardener mix it up and apply it so right down here I've got a large gouge out of the veneer so it basically peeled off and broke off so this is where the bondo comes in bondo is great for repairs like this so that it doesn't later on chip off ever bondo is very hard when it dries i'm just gonna cover that whole entire section there and then I, I have it above the surface just a tad bit that way when i go back to sand i'm able to sand it flush to the rest of the surface some other areas that i'm gonna use this for is up here with the hardware now I'm going to reuse the hardware, well, most of the pieces of the hardware. Up here, they had some star figures, and I'm just thinking that that kind of dates the pieces a bit too much for me. I just want the knobs. But as you can see here, there's some little pinholes that held those in place. And then there's a little bit of some rounder circles. So I just want to go ahead and fill all those in so that it'll be smooth when we only reapply the knobs at the end. This could be done with regular wood filler, but since I had the Bondo out, I decided to just go ahead and use that. All 
right, the bondo is now hardened. It's been about 15 minutes. That's really all it takes for it to completely harden. So I'm gonna take my sander and smooth it all out. I've got a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm using my surf prep sander along with my Festool vacuum dust extractor. So that really helps eliminate all of the dust in the air from the bondo or from anything that you're sanding. We're good. The Bondo went on really well and then sanded back really smoothly. So we don't have any more flaws. Next step is to do a little bit of spot priming and then I'm gonna show you what paint I'm gonna be using. So you'll notice that I didn't sand the entire piece nor prime the entire piece. And that is because today I am gonna be using Beyond Paint. And I also wanna thank Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video. I've used Beyond Paint in several other projects. I've painted a dresser with a roller with Beyond Paint. I have revamped some kitchen cabinets with Beyond Paint. And also our latest video was me revamping my parents' bathroom with Beyond Paint paint both on the vanity as well as the countertops so definitely check those videos out after you're done here I will link them all down below in the description but today I am going to be using Beyond Paint in a way that I have never used it before and I am going to be using a sprayer to apply the Beyond Paint so this is definitely going to be a learning curve because Beyond Paint is so gloppy meaning it's very thick and it's supposed to be thick that's why you don't have to use the primer or sand because it has that adhesion inside now you might be wondering why i did prime a little bit and that's because the primer that's inside the paint is not a stain blocking primer the primer that's in the paint helps with adhesion so i wanted to use that shellac to block the stains in those areas where I broke through the finish. So I'm gonna still use my strainer here with the paint and we're gonna be using the color deep blue today. It's a grayish bluish color, it's very pretty. So I'm excited to see it go on the pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this whole thing in there because we've got four pieces to cover for the first coat. So here we go. It'll take a little while to strain because it's so thick. But that's all right. And then we will go ahead and water it down just a little bit so that it can easily go through the sprayer. I went ahead and watered it down about 10%. So it's a 16 ounce jar. And then I put about one and a half ounces of paint, of water in the paint. So it's still straining. Like I said, it's gonna take a little bit just because it is so thick. I can already tell that I love spraying Beyond Paint and I can already tell also that it's drying with a really smooth finish. So I'm gonna let this first coat dry and then we'll come back for coat number two. 
While that first coat's drying, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more. Uh, the dry time for Beyond Paint is two to four hours, so I'll be letting that dry for a while, even though it's basically dry to the touch already, sitting in the sun, you still wanna wait that full two to four hours. And then also, I wanted to talk about how much paint I just used on four pieces, just one coat. Can't really see in here, but remember, I only poured in 16 ounces, and I'd say there's at least three left, four left. So really, only using 12 ounces of paint on four pieces for for, for coat number one. That is absolutely amazing. The coverage of that Beyond Paint is great and when i come back for coat number two i won't even need to use as much as i just did for coat number one because it's already got amazing coverage so we're going to come back for coat number two Before I do coat number two on these guys, I am just gonna take a sanding sponge, which is just a really, really fine sandpaper, like a 400 grit, and I'm gonna smooth out the surface. It's just a little bit rough, and I wanna knock back any of that roughness. And then I've also got a microfiber cloth right in my hand, so I can just go ahead and wipe back that dust as I go along. And now it's a lot smoother. If you do this step in between coats of primer, paint, top coat, all of it, you will have a much smoother and buttery finish. coat is on there and we're gonna let that dry here for a little while before we come back for the next step. So Beyond Paint has a built-in top coat as you guys know so you don't have to top coat it but I have gotten a lot of questions about can you top coat it? The answer is yes they actually have their own multi-purpose sealer so I decided that I'm just gonna go ahead and put some top coat on these pieces so I've actually got it already loaded up in my sprayer. I left the blue paint in there, not all of it, but just some remnants. So that way it would tint the top coat just a tad bit so that I can just mitigate any possibilities of streaking and things like that. But since I'm spraying, those are gonna really be mitigated anyway. like that we are ready for hardware well once it dries of course so for the hardware I was just gonna keep it the original color but I decided that I just want to spruce it up a little bit so I'm gonna do some spray painting The clear coat on the hardware has had plenty of time to dry, so it's time to get it all put back together. Now that I've got all the hardware back on, can you guys even tell that this was a mismatched set? If I didn't show you the before, would you know that this truly didn't originally come together? 
I don't think so, because this came together really nicely. When you guys are out looking at thrift stores or even on Facebook Marketplace, whether you're flipping for profit or for yourself, always look for pieces that maybe aren't exactly the same. They don't come from the same set, but they've got those similarities. And with some paint and some, maybe even you do change out the hardware to match, they can become a set. Again, we just wanna thank Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video. You guys, this paint spraying it was absolutely a dream because of the way that the finish came out on them. It is as smooth as butter. I keep telling Neiman that this is like the smoothest finish I've ever had on a piece of furniture. And I would definitely chalk it up to the paint. It really self-leveled itself once I sprayed those two coats of paint. And then even after I sprayed that top coat, you guys, it is so smooth. You're gonna wanna let this paint cure for at least three days before setting anything on top of it. And then also you're gonna wanna let it continue to cure for at least seven days, but the longer, the better. Similar to when we did the kitchen cabinets with Beyond Paint. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check that out right now. But similar to those kitchen cabinets, you know, the longer you let them cure, 21, 30 days, the better the finish is going to hold up in the air and withstand against that wear and tear. For this entire four piece set, I used less than 32 ounces of paint. I completed a whole entire pint, but I only got about four ounces into the next pint. So this Beyond Paint, it's a little bit pricier than say a, maybe a different paint company, but again, no priming, no sanding. Technically you don't need that top coat, but I had some on hand, so I just went ahead and used it. But you could also use a different top coat as well. So it's, it's a little bit goes a long way. This set is not a commission set, so it's time to get some photos and get these listed on Facebook Marketplace. You guys, I know that I just tell you the prices of the things that I list, but I truly have a little bit of trouble with it still to this day on putting value on my work. It's very important that you are valuing your own work and that way other people will also value it. So I'm playing with the numbers still, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna be listing it around 600 to $650 for the entire set. So definitely get over to Instagram and follow us over there because we will be sharing when this set gets sold and we would love to have you guys over there. We do tons of behind the scenes and then little fun videos over there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't tried Beyond Paint, links down below for 15% off of your entire purchase. So definitely try that out and be sure to get subscribed because next week we've got another awesome video and I found some amazing wood grain under the drawers of that set. I'm super excited to show it to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>